Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I thought I would be doing some fun toddler activities for Halloween. Halloween is just around the corner and now that my kids are getting older, I just wanna be able to incorporate them more and, and help them do something fun and build memories. So let's get to it. showing you guys how to make this awesome sensory bin for your toddlers. Um, I would use caution when doing this though because if you have little kids like me, I have a one-year-old, he went and put the eyeball right in his mouth right away and you know for sure he's going to be putting these as well as the little rings in there. But it's a really fun game for the older kids. I had Jalen putting in the little spiders in here collecting them all, counting them. And then also this, um, he can pick up these. You can get like a mason, jar, a mason jar or a bowl and have them stick it in here. But unfortunately in here, I think you can only fit one. But I mean, it's really fun. They have these and then it also, it like helps them feel like different textures and the colors. I mean, there's so many fun things that you can do with this. You can also pack it away for next year, especially when your kids are older and then add things to it or take away. So I have some of these put in there, some little eyeballs, some little spiders and bats and skulls. And then I'm gonna be using black beans, um, raw black beans, I guess, dry. <laughs> and then I found some of these because they were out of their little like container of bugs because I was going to do that but I think this will be fun but they'll probably destroy these pretty fast live your life within the moment moment and don't go wait until the morning morning you never know when it is over over all that I know is we'll get older older so let us dance this side away So this is what I have. Jalen has been bugging me to come over here and see everything. But this bucket cost me about, I think like eight, eight fifty. Now that their prices are a dollar twenty-five, but I didn't even use everything. I still have a ton left over. And so these are just the black beans. We got some rings in here that look like skulls and spiders. We got some different colored eyeballs, pumpkins, and then these are the bugs that I wanted to include. But now he'll be able to just like go through it and play. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna let Jordan cause he's only one and I, I'm pretty sure he will try to eat these. They're edible, but not safe. <laughs> What is that? Wow, what do you find in there? What's in there? Yeah, you can do that. Our bodies move to the groove and the light the flickers. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. No mouth, okay? No. <laughs> I am loving how the sensory bin came out. Jalen is loving it. And the cool thing is, is that I can pack it away like in zip in a Ziploc and then put it away for next year, especially when Jordan is more able to enjoy it. There's no way he can do this. I just tested it out and he was putting the eyeballs in his mouth and it is completely 100% unsafe. And Jalen's making a mess as we speak. <laughs> so do use this with, you know, just a little bit of caution with your toddlers that it's messy still because, I mean, there's little beans everywhere and small pieces. And don't leave them unattended. They need to have an adult supervision while playing with these bins. Just like I'm doing right now. One of the fun things we'll be doing is painting. I wanna do their handprint and turn them into a monster. 
And then I also want to be painting some little pumpkins instead of carving this year. So I got these and these, the canvases and the paintbrushes from the Dollar Tree. These I just have on hand, and then these are all my collection from the Dollar Tree, which I, I've been buying, but I haven't actually used. So here we are, and this is what we're going to do and see what the kids come up with. this point the mess is already here so I'm just gonna let him continue to use up the paint and then I'm gonna paint one too but I'm gonna do like that pour method I love it we'll see how it goes and wish me luck do the whole like getting all dirty and having a struggle to carve a pumpkin I know there's easy ways but I just wanted to make it really fun and festive and easy and just something different it's not as pretty as I thought it was gonna look <laughs> there's really like up close it's really nice um, and there's really pretty areas in certain spots but I still love it Here I have some cookie supplies and I went ahead and baked some cookies um, from cookie dough that I had made um, a little while ago and I had leftover in the freezer so I'm using it now so that me and Jalen 
can go ahead and decorate some Halloween cookies. Let me show you what I have. So this is what I've picked up. I got these cute little eyes. They had two sizes at the Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and picked up two of these also from the Dollar Tree. This one was from Walmart. And then these two were from Michaels. And then I just had some of these and we'll be using like the blue and green from this, not all of these but I think these will be really fun. I'm just gonna be painting the cookies with buttercream and then adding some eyes and some little Halloween sprinkles. And these are the cookies that I made so that Jay can have fun. We got some pumpkins and some spiders. I'm gonna do a ghost out of this one and then more spiders and another pumpkin. So I don't know that we'll come do all of these, but I just wanted to make sure there was enough and I wanted to use up my cookie dough. All right, I got my setup. I got my four colors, the eyes, jimmies. I recommend a plate. I did one to get the party started. I have this cute little spider. So it's got the buttercream on there. Then I, after adding the eyes, I sprink, I put it here and I sprinkled. I just poured them on here. I'll show you real quick. And then you're just gonna dust them off or like do that. Add any where you feel like, oh, it needs a few more and then you can display it, so cute. But then what's really cool is when you have these leftovers after each cookie, I recommend doing this and pouring it back in your jar. Otherwise, you're just gonna have a bunch of product everywhere. And why waste? Nothing is inexpensive. So let's get to it. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I was, the eyes are... All right, Daddy, do you wanna decorate one? Sure. All right. your cookie yay yeah lots of sprinkles okay you and mm -hmm. so if you're gonna do this I would recommend cleaning as you go I have been cleaning as I went because it would be way worse especially with him and the frosting everywhere um, and I have leftover cookies so I'm just gonna leave these for Joel because he's back at work but I want to show you guys what we did and they're just so cute it was so much fun this is just like a fun little activity. It's not like too horribly messy and there's no like piping involved. It's just letting the kids paint. Did you have fun? What that do with that? Is it good? Yeah, that's your spider. Where's your pumpkin? There it is. Yeah, that's it. That's your pumpkin. so cute you guys i made this for jay for his lunch let's see what he thinks <laughs> is that cute or what do you like it what is it it's a spider it's a spider it's a peanut butter and jelly spider <laughs> yummy Go, yeah of course you do it's candy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Is that good? Live your life within the moment, moment. So my little pumpkin woke up and I thought I'd see if he'd like a little spider sandwich too. So instead of the little eyeballs, I went ahead and did two little chocolate chips because the eyeballs are hard candy and he definitely can't have those yet. Let's see what he thinks. Oh, it's a spider! Ooh! Let's have a tippy! No, baby, you <laughs> had candy. Oh, you love it? I'll, I'll... What are you doing? I 
We are. Okay, we're gonna play right now. Jeez. That's his favorite game. <gasps> Yay! You destroyed it, but it's still good, huh? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an exciting day of Halloween crafts. I had so much fun. It was also stressful at times. If you're a mom or dad of toddlers, it can be stressful, especially when they're really little and you're trying to do things like this. Let's be honest. <laughs> but I want to show you guys really quick and go over everything and just show you what we did. To the groove and the light the flickers We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter all right here is what we have this were these were all of today's crafts now I do recommend maybe breaking this up throughout the week right before Halloween to give the guys some fun stuff to do but for the sake of the video, I did do everything at once. This is Jalen's beautiful painted and really artistic. Wow, it actually really came great. Came out great. Um, pumpkin, and then mine, I don't know. I don't know. I think if I had gold, I would have liked the stem gold better, but I tried to spruce it up, put some glitter and some rhinestones that I had just sitting around. It's cute. And we have our sweet little paintings. This is Jay's handprint. And then I did the eyes and the teeth, but I did have him do the legs. This one looks like he's flexing. <laughs> and so this is Mommy's Little Monster. And on the back, I put his name, age, and the date. Same thing for Jordan's. These ones are sweet, and I had Jay paint these too. Um, but they are Jordan's hands. And this is Mommy's Little Monster. So these were really cute and this is something I can display and hold on to as they get older. I just think they're so sweet. And my cookies are cookies as Joelle would say. <laughs> but we got the little Cyclops pumpkin, so many different furry spiders. Joelle did so good. He did this one. He got real creative. He did that one. Um, oh, and he did this one in the back. <laughs> this is Jay's if you can't tell. And then the other one's J8. But I just love how everything came out. And the sensory bin has been a huge hit. Jalen just wants to put his hands through it all the time. Um, it's really fun. Again, I said that you guys can save these. <laughs> you guys can save these for the following year and put them away for, for the next time and for when the kids are older, my husband, you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and <laughs> very cute. <laughs> I just love the way everything came out. Oh, it's your turn. Okay. You are just too cute. You got one right. <laughs> he always wants to be like daddy. So wait, man. Dude. Wait all day long. That's not true. You barely just finished these. <clears throat> We're gonna try our cookie. Look, you guys, we match and it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> what about me? Only in the Ramos Mama. house. Mama. Just do it. Mama. Mama. It's good. I love it. Mama. Simple. You don't want to be like super creative. Like they're so cute. And my two year old, me and my husband did them. They're really good, you guys. Give it a try. And it's dinner time. Say bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you guys in the next video.
<laughs> Put it down, you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're cute. <laughs>